It's Phaedra from allthingsphaedra.com. And, and I'm the uh, stunt double husband. He's my other half. And, uh, you know, I get my son to help me with the toy reviews, and when it comes to wine reviews, I've got my partner in crime here. Can't have the son do it. We're casual wine drinkers. It's a Saturday. We've been cleaning all day. We're wearing our t-shirts. This is nothing fancy. We just finished watching a kid's movie. That's our typical Saturday evening entertainment. So, I have one problem with wine reviews. Let me tell you what it is. We get the wine in, and then we drink it, and then we realize we should probably do a review of this. But I was reviewing it. He was reviewing it in his mind. So I don't have a lot left. I'll tell you what I've got here. Jacob's Creek Moscato and Jacob's Creek Reserve Pinot Noir. If you've ever watched any of my wine reviews, you know that I tend to be the white drinker. He tends to be the red drinker which is why the red is mostly gone. The problem here is he likes big, full-bodied reds, which does not describe typically a Pinot Noir. I like very dry, oaky types of whites, which does not describe the Moscato. But we are not ones to say no to wine. What I did get, and this was my own purchase, was the Jacob's Creek Chardonnay, because I thought if I'm really kind of giving it uh, a review, I feel like I should include something that I really like. Sean, I know, has already sampled quite a bit of the red, so I'm going to take my little sip because sometimes I do actually like reds. And I'm back here. It's good. Tastes like a Pinot Noir, very light. Okay. Yeah. I don't hate it. It's a reserve Pinot Noir, which typically when I see reserve, it means it's a little more exclusive, a little more limited. Um, Tell me what you think, Red. Drinker. I liked it. I enjoyed it. This this was nice. You know, there wasn't any overpowering alcohol bite to it. Um, it you know it was it was smooth. It was it was nice. Now that was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I would buy it again. On to the whites. The Moscato, typically a dessert wine, but I know some people out there tend to be sweet wine drinkers. So this would be for you. And here's what I can tell you about it. I don't hate it. And for someone who does not like sweet wines, that is actually a huge compliment. Yeah, I was I actually was looking at the Moscato thinking that I would absolutely not like it, and I was really, really surprised that I did like it. And I I had to keep on sampling just to just to see I if, if I yeah, if <laughs> I really liked it or didn't like it. But it was it's really let me, good. Let me see you know. if, let me see if I really did. Then on to the Chardonnay. Now, I am a frequent Chardonnay drinker, so I would classify this as um, kind of like a, for what I paid for it at the store, this is, a, this is a good average drinking wine. It's not a special occasion wine. This would be more like your, dare I say, everyday wine. I dare you say that. Everyday wine. Okay. I like this. I think it is... Um, it's not too fruity, and it's oaky. Tell me what you think. I mean, it has a nice nose, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of peach. It's drier. I mean, I'm not a really big fan of, of whites, uh, but this is not um, this is not too oaky. This is not like a butter bomb Chardonnay. You know, where they, butter bomb. Well, you know, like, all these new terms. Some some people throw the whole. Let me I, see if it's a butter bomb. It's not, you know, the malolactic fermentation and to make it, you know, taste too oh, buttery. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, actually, this is, this is nice. It's, it's a nice... You know, I would call of, this, if I may, a lightly oaked Chardonnay. Right. Not like a really, really heavy Chardonnay. This is kind of my new favorite thing. No wine opener required. That doesn't mean it's cheap wine or you're a cheap wine drinker. They, it's actually very common in wines now to use the screw top, and I actually like it. And the other thing, as I'm sitting here, that I notice is they have something on the back of the label that says, Peel here to remember. Oh, that's awesome. So, if I say, hey, I really like Jacob's Creek, I can peel a chunk of the label off, and I can remember it. And on the back, it actually has the website of the winery, which is great because... We'll leave that in. 
because I often drink wines and then forget which ones I liked and which ones I didn't. So this is Cause nice. Because you had too much? Maybe. Or I just forget. Forget. So this Chardonnay is considered a medium bodied wine with melon and citrus flavors, which is almost exactly what you described. Maybe I was reading the back of the label while sampling it. Were you? I must confess. Oh, Sean! <laughs> that sounded too good, didn't it? <laughs>